Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Is the NCAA targeting Coach Prime in Colorado with their proposed rule changes? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. Hey guys, before we get started, do me a favor, go into the description section of this video. There you will find a list of all the players on the Colorado team that have YouTube pages. Make sure you check them out and subscribe today. All right, so the NCAA are making some proposed rule changes on recruiting uh, visits, unofficial recruiting visits. You know how the recruits come to the colleges and they take the pictures and the uniform and then the school promotes it. And we saw that with uh, Coach Prime in Colorado, how some of the recruits were coming up there, you know, during games and stuff, and they will take pictures in the uniform and then they will promote that on their social media. Well, the NCAA is is looking to try to change that now they say you can still do that but it has to be on official recruiting visits and not unofficial recruiting visits now this is an article from uh, sports illustrated it says the ncaa is trying to remain relevant in the fast-moving nil world of collegiate athletics on wednesday the oversight committee sent out a memo indicating they'll be proposing new legislation regarding photo shoots for recruits on unofficial visits this is a direct jab at Deion Sanders who used photo shoot opportunities with recruits at Colorado to promote Louis Vuitton and Lamborghini sports cars. The snapshot, the snapshot, excuse me, were widely popular and became viral sensation among recruits. Everyone wanted to come to Boulder to meet Coach Prime and be a part of the phenomenon. It can still happen, but only on official visits. It's another way to slow down schools from promoting recruits and allows the NCAA to enforce another rule. The photo shoot concept is a common occurrence and every school digs in for marketing, but Coach Prime took it all to another level which in many ways is another example of going against the norms of college athletics. The NCAA's attempt to ban photos on unofficial recruiting visits will be interesting to enforce. If it passes, the government body might want to focus on fixing themselves to be relevant over the next decade rather than who might take a picture on campus. Now, when I read this, I'm like, okay, um, I know Coach Prime in Colorado were doing that and they were and they were also using this as marketing like look um cuz the other recruits are watching so they're you know they're looking at this and the recruits know that Colorado is the biggest thing in football right now and a lot of people want to be a part of it but i know other schools were doing the same thing so i'm like wait a minute other schools were doing the same thing and they were putting out their photos so why is this article say they taking a, a shot at coach prime maybe they know something we don't know but we're gonna have to wait and see if these changes um, are made it's kind of petty though if you think about it but this is not really going to stop Coach Prime and his recruiting. It's really going to start heating up after the season. This is when things are really going to get interesting. It's after the season. We we're, Everyone was just waiting to see what type of season Colorado was going to have in Coach Prime's first season. And we see now that they're successful. It's still early, but I am anticipating them making a bowl game. And this is a big change from a last year's team that was 1-11. A lot of recruits are watching. They know that the players are getting a lot of attention. They're getting millions of hits on social media and that translate into money because when you see a player, he's popular online, that's a potential for future NIL deals. They even said that it's projected for Shador Sanders if he comes back for his senior year, they're saying he can make um, upwards of $10 million approximately. That's a lot of money. I just hope that a lot of other um, players on the team get access to money as well. I just don't want a few players getting all the money and the other players not getting any money. That's the only knock that I have on the NILs, but some players are more popular than others. And if you start winning, the money does roll in. But um, what say you about this new proposed change? And um, let me know your comments below. All right, guys, I'll see you next video. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.